well not to be stupid in your 20s. Your 20s are time to develop, build and sustain some success habits. However, because of the feeling of being young, it's easy to assume that you will still have a lot of time on your hands to build your future later. As for now, well, a little enjoyment won't kill. How about doing the tough work now and leaving the enjoyment till much later? When you're much older and not so active and agile like now when you have the strength to do almost anything you want to do. That makes a lot of sense, right? So, let's get it straight. How can you achieve not being stupid in your 20s? Start developing healthy habits that will put you up for success. It's as simple as that. OK, take a look at this. Let's say Jane is a healthy eater. She mostly takes veggies, fruits and proteins. However, she indulges once in a while. Jane, however, has a friend, Emma, who eats whatever she likes to eat at whatever time she feels like having them. While Jane exercises as often as three to four times weekly, Emma does so once or twice a month because she's busy with some other stuff or doesn't even remember most of the time. Fast forward to a few years later. If Jane and Emma both keep with their healthy living lifestyle from the past, which of them is likely going to enjoy a better life? Of course, it's pretty obvious. Jane would. But remember, it didn't seem like she was enjoying her life earlier, did it? However, look who turned out to be living the life you'd always dreamt of. In the same way, when you spend your 20s putting things in order, instead of doing stupid things, you'll live the rest of your life grateful you did. So, what should you do in your 20s to ensure a better life for yourself in the future? In this video, I'll share with you how not to be stupid in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Find out what you want in life. The first step to living a meaningful life and a life that will bring you satisfaction and fulfilment is to find out what you want your life to look like. This is the time for self-discovery. Now might be a good time to put your phone on airplane mode most of the time and focus on discovering yourself. Find out what your strengths and weaknesses are, your likes, dislikes, interests, passion and the like. This is what will help you decide what direction you want to go. For instance, most people often confuse a job for their career in their 20s, forgetting that the only reason they started working that job in the first place was that they needed to find a means, any means, of survival. However, if you don't take time to consider what you want your life to look like, then you might never become successful, no matter what. Number 2. Make plans to help you achieve them. It's one thing to have a goal for your life. It's another to make plans that can help you achieve those goals. It's like this. You want to become the biggest neurosurgeon that ever existed. Then you need to make plans that can help you with your dreams. These plans, for instance, should include going to a college of medicine, after which you'll go further to learning more about your field of interest. The last step should be how to become a consultant. Then you can begin your practice as a neurosurgeon. Imagine if you didn't make the plans. How will you achieve your dreams? By hoping that it happened some way, some day? It won't, unless you plan for it. 3. Invest in growth, not material things. Growth is essential for transformation, which is in turn important for success. Vernon Howard, an American spiritual teacher and author, said, The great solution to all human problems is individual inner transformation. It's easy to assume that the more things you acquire, the happier you'll become because you'll feel self-made and successful. Well, that might be true. The feeling will only last for a while and you'll keep getting more stuff as a way of making you happy. Forgetting that the best kind of investment whatsoever is an investment in self. Say you lose everything that you have worked so hard to achieve. What will you do? When you choose to invest in yourself, regardless of where you find yourself, you'll be successful.
because you have developed all the essentials needed to become successful, irrespective of the location you find yourself. Attend seminars. Go for conferences and training. Attend courses. Buy books, etc. Number four, don't forget the healthy living lifestyle. Most people tend to forget all about healthy living and spend the latter part of their lives regretting some of the choices they have made. For instance, exercising has so many benefits that can help your body stay refreshed and also boost some mental activities and improve your overall health as well. I'm pretty sure that this information isn't any new to you. However, most people tend to ignore this fact or overlook it because we think we still have a lifetime ahead of us so we can afford to spend this time doing the things we consider pleasurable in the meantime, such as binge eating, etc. Number five, don't let fear hold you back. Eleanor Roosevelt said, you gain strength, courage and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You can say to yourself, I have lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. If you have dreams and visions, then it's only natural to have fears as well, except your dreams aren't big enough. Most people hide under the garment of trying to figure out where their life is headed, hence they fail to act. Most of the times, however, the problem is not in them trying to figure out their lives, but holding back because of fear of the unknown or fear of failure. Instead, they choose to go with the rest of the world who are actually too scared to act and would rather blend in to the crowd. Acting in spite of fear and taking risks in your 20s is one of the best things anyone can do because at that stage you barely have huge responsibilities to shoulder unlike in your 30s where you probably now have a family to care for. Understanding that fear is normal and expected is the first step to overcoming the fear. Also, no matter how big the obstacles before you may seem, you'll never be able to conquer it if you don't act and someday in the future you'll wish you did. Dale Carnegie once said, Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.